welcome my seventh graders. All right, so we're starting lesson two. This is gonna be quick and easy. Um, I'm gonna talk about some of these concepts that are really important, um, but basically just give you a couple of quick visuals and you guys need to make sure that you're reading your lesson and taking notes and let me know if you have any questions after watching this video. So we touched on this a little bit in the last mini lesson, variables and constants. Do you remember that? Maybe, maybe. These are really important to grasp and sometimes they're a little difficult. So be patient with yourself as sometimes it's hard to understand what we're looking at when we're trying to figure out what is a variable versus where, what is a constant. So maybe you actually know or you can remember what the difference is between these two, okay? Think of an example of each, maybe just keep that in your head. And as I talk further about these, maybe you'll be like, yep, that's right, I got it. So variables obviously are, are changing often and constants remain the same. So you can kind of think about that as you think of your examples and then also be thinking about that because we're gonna use that in your investigation that you did for the first lesson. So you're gonna try and come up with your variables and constants um, for that investigation for your next assignment, okay? So more on variables, the definition, yes. You'll find this in your text. So hopefully you guys have already read through that. Maybe you've taken notes, you have this already written down. That's good because you're going to be seeing that on your quiz. So anything that changes in an investigation is called a variable. So whatever you might be investigating, say you wanna see how well a plant grows, um, depending on how much um, sunlight you, know, you give that plant, okay? So you have plants that are indoors and you have plants that are outdoors and you have plants that are in the shade, you have plants that grow directly in the sun. You have all these different changing things. Those are the variables. What is changing about that investigation? Okay, so think about that. When you think about your investigation that you guys talked to me about, and we talked about the tools that you were gonna use to do that investigation, now you're gonna think about that investigation a little bit further, and you're gonna tell me what would be the variables. What are the things that are constantly changing, okay? So what about constants? If you can think of the variables, once again, let's talk about the definition of the constant, okay? Factors that are left unchanged. So take, for instance, in that whole plant scenario, and trying to figure out which plants are gonna grow better in the sunlight or not with sunlight, okay? And something that might m remain the same is maybe I'm going to feed them the same amount of water each day. I wanna remain, I want one something that remains constant, okay? So I'm gonna give them, you know, eight ounces of water every other day. And so all plants will receive that same amount of water. That would be considered a constant. It does not change. Okay, so again, think of what may not be changing in your investigation, okay? And we can work on those a little bit more in depth together, but be thinking about that, okay? But then also, I want you to take your variables a little bit further, and we're gonna talk about independent versus dependent, okay? So I'm gonna read you guys this definition, and of course, I always like to put in funny little pictures, and um, this looks like a husband and a wife, the independent variable over here, the dependent variable, and she says, Nothing you do affects me, I'm independent, hello. And he says, some things you do affect me, like kind of all annoyed. Anyways, ha 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 ha. All right, so a variable that we purposefully change or manipulate is called the independent variable, okay? So we're kind of manipulating that variable, therefore is independent. The thing that changes in response is called the dependent variable. So when you're dependent upon something, typically you're gonna change in response to that. If you're dependent upon, if a baby is dependent upon a mother for food, then basically that baby's going to cry in order to get something. It's gonna change in response to being hungry. I'm gonna cry because I'm hungry. That's a dependent variable, okay? But up here, a variable that we purposefully change or manipulate is called the independent variable. It's not necessarily changing because of anything being acted on other by other than by us. We are actually changing that. So those are kind of hard concepts, okay? I want you to kind of take a moment to kind of let that sink in. You're independent versus dependent. You're dependent, changes that are basically made in response to something are dependent, and your independent is something that we are gonna actually change or manipulate. So it probably wouldn't change on its own, okay? So keep those in mind when you're thinking about your investigation. The last thing I wanna to touch on is repeated trials. It's so important that you do repeated trials, okay? And I have this picture of Mythbusters myth because I love Mythbusters, first of all. 
I think it's such a great way um, to see some really cool science in the world. Um, but they are always doing repeated tr trials. They're going to do anywhere from two to four different trials of the same thing because you need to make sure that you're getting the same um, results every time, right? If you just did your investigation one time and you got your results and you're like, okay, there's my conclusion, that's it. Well, how do you know if someone else did it, they wouldn't get something else? So unless you do repeated trials, typically I would say your um, results may not be valid, okay? So you have to back that up with repeated trials. So make sure that when you think about your investigation, why would you do a repeated trial for your investigation? If you're investigating something um, you know, specific, maybe it's something that you're passionate about, why would you want to do that over and over again? Well, one of the main reasons, but I want you to think of one personally, but one of the main reasons is you want to get valid data. Okay, You need to make sure that you're getting the same amount of data each time. Okay, So pretty easy, right? Mwah, all done. Okay, so have a great rest of your day or night whenever you're watching this, and we will catch you for the next lesson.